Okay. So I have History of the Dragon Coast, and that's it. Um, I need another flail, apparently. Like, I thought I bought two last time, but I guess not. Um, Bastard Sword. Uh, requires 11 strength. Who can equip that, though? They're not, like, giving me too much information on it. Um, I feel like studded leather armor should be better, right? We'll get one of those. We'll get um, a couple large shields, right? It requires so much strength. All right, let's, uh, let's call that and uh, see what I can do here. So I do have, like, I can dual wield, right? That's the way that... That's, that's what I want. Armor class, I want that to go down, which is weird. Um, but that's how it works. Quiver is all ready to go. What you want? Um... So yeah, armor class this I want to go be good. I want to go down all the time. Your voice is ambrosia. Traveler's robes. Okay, so what is your strength? Um you have a long sword on. Can I look at you through here? I can. What is your strength? Your strength's only 14, so I can only... I must. Wait, now you... you... I can well. make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Right, so how much did this cost? This was 11 strength, so we had that. So I can buy one of them. There's an upgrade. Can't afford a lot of this stuff but I can afford some things. The large, sh all right, medium shield. Medium shield is 12 strength, so I can buy one of those. Buckler. Requires four strength. What about this one? It seems like it's the same one. Looks like it's all the same. Small shield. No protection against missile attacks. But this one said piercing as well. Oh, well, that's not a big deal for me. All right, he does have some nice stuff at the bottom there, but ultimately, I think that's, that's it. And I don't have anything to identify. All right, so I'm dual wielding. You're good. So I want to give this to you. What would you have me do? Medium shield on you. You spoke at me? Something troubling you? And I wanted to give the uh, the bastard sword to you as well. So I'm upgrading like Monteron like a ton here. Oh, his sword broke. I get it. And then my flail broke too. That's what happened. Okay, things break in this game. You must for a wee little bit more than me competition. Nothing more. You wish. have all the stuff I that I want to sell. You wish for a wee little bit more than me so, competition. Uh the long sword can go. This long sword can go. The leather armors can go. This broken weapon. Yeah, I think I just uh drop just go ahead and drop those. Then you want this? All right, so now she's a lot better. So there's some upgrades. 
Not nearly what I was looking Hurry up. for. But there's all right, some all right. upgrades for what would you have me do? For my group. Okay, apparently my group is not involved in this. Your wish? Everybody all please right, right. please leave. Thank you. Very Better. Well. Kind of go around town a little bit more, see if I can't find something good to do that doesn't involve my death. Right, so you had some spells. Larlock's Minor Drain and Chill Touch. I might need those, like, right now, so... We're gonna do what we can. I want to kill somebody here, one of the two. So we're gonna try it with the upgrades that I was able to purchase here. And if I can't do that, then I'm gonna try to take care of a different quest. Like, I don't wanna like talk my way out of this. I wanna be able to win these fights. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. All right, I've done nothing to you, right. Hurry up! All right, sleep on you. Yep. Good. That's this good. Better be good. Bastard sword on you. Your voice is ambrosia. Uh huh. Like Zar, like just he just dies. That's what that's what he does. What would you have me do? My sleep failed again. And the mad wizard falls. Saves me the trouble. Like I can't even hit him. All right. If you insist. I'm leaving. What was the quest? Uh. He wants me to go. Badlands south of here. Okay. So there's Badlands south of here. I'm, I'm gonna try something out in the world. Because this is very frustrating for me to not be able to even go around town without people killing me all the damn time. Uh, Temple High Hedge. I can't, I can't go to the Badlands south of here. What were the other things that they wanted? Nash Kell. If you insist. Like Nash Kell's not here either. Screw it, we're going to the friendly arm in. We're going to the friendly arm in. And I'm gonna try to do it this way. All right, Save. All right. I might be able to finish off this guy. Maybe. I didn't I didn't necessarily get upgraded that much, but I did get something. Where was that guy? He was over here somewhere. Like none of you had anything useful to tell me. Hi, friend. Uh, looking for a place to rest. Right. I see, I see. Uh, pardon my being too forward, but you've the bearing of someone I've been looking for. About your height, they were. Same style of dresser, dresser there, about I dare say. You seem to be the spinning image of them. Might you have traveled from Candlekeep by any chance? Uh, yes. By any stretch of the imagination, would your name happen to be Saladis? Why, yes, good sir, that is my name. It seems that I am the one you've been looking for. Yes, yes, so in that case, don't move. I have something for you. Okay. Another assassination attempt. The the guard is trying to help me, which is what nice. Would you have me do? Can we put somebody to sleep? That would help. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Attack him. You spoke at me? Attack him. Something troubling you? Attack him. Uh huh. Attack him. All right, all of you guys head back here. It's 
Spellcraster level increased by one. Uh, Tarnash is, is taking a ton of damage from the guards. All right, you know what? We won that one. Everybody's scared and running off, but I'm gonna go ahead and loot some things. Because we won. What you want? I got 120 experience for that. Let's head in. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yeah, that that's gonna be a thing that said a lot. All right, so apparently this is the place I was supposed to go to. I was just supposed to let the guards take care of it or something. How long does this last? Uh, yeah, I can't do anything with them. Did I lose another weapon? I'm still dual wielding, as far as I can tell. All right. Hurry up! Everybody, head over here. It's a long ass fright, but I was able to make it through. And we're still making something similar to progress. This is a game that's gonna take a while. I feel like no matter what I do, but uh, you're a long tongued lout, ain't you? Probably, no matter what. If you insist. I have to walk up to him, don't I? Mm. It's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. Uh, I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Nothing more would please. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. All right, so Jopey, I can't stand the way the roads are cut off these days. Me uncle's in Baldur's Gate, and I can't get there to see him. Where's your uncle? How come the roads are cut off? Where you been these past few months? The roads are crawling with brigands and bandits after every scrap of iron you got on you. Surely you must have fled uh, some... Uh, fled fled some on your trip here, unless you came by the West Road, that is. Uh, why is the rest road still open? If there's ever a book shortage, that road to Candlekeep will be the most dangerous of them all, I assure you. But these folks are after metal, so they're sticking mainly to the larger trade routes between Baldur's Gate and Om. And guess what? This here inn is smack dab in the middle of it all. I also got an update. Um... about Dorn Eel Khan. A brooding half-orc at the Friendly Arm Inn mistook me for a servant. I had half a mind to tell him where to stick his jutting teeth, but decide against it. He looks like the sort who'd be handy in a fight. Perhaps we'd meet, we'll meet again under more favorable circumstances. And then Nira here, like, once again, there's nothing there. Another assassination attempt. Another stranger tried to kill me today, this time at the Friendly Arm Inn. Who keeps sending these assassins? Can I assist you? What do you need? There's a whelp over here he needs talking to. I need some ale. Oh, uh, look at these fools and tankards. This iron shortage shows no mercy on us drunkards and gourmands. Uh, what could be wrong with your fork and tankard? Is there any way I can help you? Yes, ram your eyeball onto this blade to see if it be cursed with this metal weakness too. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, they'll just kick me out of this place and send me amongst the very brigands who might covet me rot and tankard. I need some ale. Where are the people I'm supposed to talk to? All right, there's Surrey. He's got a name, at least. Yes? A uh, new face in this cloistered place. Stand by my side and let's talk for a while. What brings you here, traveler? I was an apprentice blacksmith under Terum Freerum in Baragost. With the iron situation being the way it is, however, I thought I'd better head somewhere else. Waterdeep, maybe. Terum's having enough trouble making a go of it as it is. Okay. There's Khalid. Okay. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. Something about you is familiar, child. Your manner reminds me of a sage I know by the name of Goria. Gorion. It is almost a slight on him, but I see it too. Jahira, mind your manners. This must be the child that Gorion wrote of so often. 
We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you? I must assume the worst. He would not permit his only child to wander without his accompaniment. If he has passed, we share your loss. Garayan often said that he worried for your safety, even at the expense of his own. He also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians, if he should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now, and the choice of your companion should be your own. We could travel with you until you get settled, help you find your lot in life. It would be a fitting last service to Garayan, though we should first go to Nash Kel. Khalid and I look onto local concerns. There are rumors of strange things happening at the mines. No doubt you have heard of the iron shortage. You would do well to help us. It affects everyone, including you. We are to meet the mayor of the town, Baron Gastkill. Um, your company would be welcome. Yeah, no. Um, I'm already going to Nashkill. My current companions wish to visit there as well. Indeed, interesting. In that case, I think we should definitely travel as one. You can never be too careful about the dangers of the open road, wherever they may spring from. Uh, remove party members. Super. Who do I want to exclude? I feel like I have to exclude Nira at this point. I feel bad because I just kind of got her, but... Yeah, remove her from the party. What is it this time? Is that Nira? Seriously? After all we've been through? Obviously, I had the wrong idea about our friendship. When you're ready to apologize, you can find me at the Friendly Arm Inn. Which happens to be here. Um, perhaps we'll meet again, Nira. Okay, so... New quest. Uh, important events. As I have little else to do and few allies, I should devote some time to investigating the cause of the iron shortage in the region. My next stop should be the town of Nashkel to the south. Jahir and Khalid. Jahir and Khalid would have me accompany them to Nashkel. Alright. They wish to travel to Nashkel. Um, Badlands. Nira... There's still, like, nothing there, but the Friendly Arm Inn is at least done. So, I have a full party. That's always a plus. Servant awaits. Who, what, like, what are you? You're a fighter druid, so you should have better... You've a task? Better armor than that. Um, does anybody have some spare armor? Not really. You've got some good armor, though. He's got splint mail. All right, so, so far, so good. Let's take a look at them. She's actually really close to the next level, too. He's a fighter level one. I think she leveled up, Nira did, and so I let her go, of course. Um, I'm not getting very much experience, granted, but uh, we, will, we will get there eventually. Uh, as good as done. All right, so everybody, here, come with me. You must gather your party before venturing. All right, all right. All right, so let's uh, finish exploring around this town. This was supposed to be the town that I was supposed to go to next, but coming here and seeing something that like struck fear into everybody, yeah, it was bad times. Hmm. Unless you're buying the drinks, I suggest you leave me be. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Hello. Right. Frontier law again. It doesn't look like there's too much going on here. Don't know what this is. So let's move on. We'll try to move on, at least. I have no idea about a party setup and how that's going for me. But I felt like having another mage was going to be bad because, well, the mages aren't really casting spells too often now, are they? So having too many of them is probably bad for the party. Glad to meet you, friend. The Iron Crisis has taken everybody off guard. Why plan for a shortage when the resource is nearly unlimited? I guess we're paying for it now. The guarantee I guarantee that if we survive through this, it will never happen again. People will be hoarding metal for months. Hello there. Lots of, lots of work in Nashkel, I hear, but I 
says no cuz I ain't going down no mine you gotta be a fool to work underground at the best of times but you'd be completely crazy to do it now yeah, that seems to be it so let's head out of here So we have a full compliment with us. Pretty much the first people that were available to us as well. But this will hopefully work out for the best. The game has been rather difficult to this point, but that's because I went the wrong path, probably. Um, how do I get to Nashville? Let's head to Baragost, I guess, again. <laughs> 